With another Ryder Cup fast approaching, we can hear from former PGA Tour player Steve Pate about being a member of the US team. I mean, obviously I was very happy, I was relieved. I had been in a great position to make the 89 team and I did not play well the last six months. And it was something I'd always wanted to play. In. You know, at the time, there was no President's Cup, there was no Olympics, it was your one chance to play for your country, and it, it's, it's a huge deal. I had an interesting experience in 91. I got in a car accident at the limo, I was going to the dinner. So I was hurting, I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to play at all. Pate was treated for bruises on the left side of his stomach and released from a Charleston hospital. While not considered serious, it was not immediately clear if Pate's injuries would prevent him from playing in the matches. I had a lot of question marks when I played on Saturday. I, you know, I was, I was able to move, but I was very sore, and I didn't really have many expectations. So no, I wasn't that nervous. Needs a good drive to reach this green in two. Tiger Woods had given Steve Pate a great start. Pate took full advantage. I was more nervous in '99 because I had been a captain's pick. I had not played my way on the team. And and I was well, healthy is a reasonable, you know, it's, <laughs> it's relative, but I was relatively healthy. So, and I, you know, I hadn't played well. I was a captain's pick. I did not play well in the practice rounds as opposed to 91 where I was playing great. I did not play the first day at all. And I felt like I had something to prove. So yeah, I was more nervous um, in 99 than I was in 91. Peyton Woods had a great opportunity. Steve could get this one out of the rough, over the bunker, and home safely. He did just that and more. It was totally different because in 91, we got together with the European team on Sunday night. And I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, that's the last time that's happened. And you know, growing up when I was watching the Ryder Cup, I always assumed that was part of the deal. You get together after it's over and have a good time. One of the most exciting and unique experiences for the players during the Ryder Cup has always been playing as part of a team and having the support of fellow pros. It's different. I like it. it brings me back to college days. It's fun. I think it's fun playing for a team. You've got 11 other people, your captains, uh, you know, that are kind of depending on you. Um, I mean, you know, and honestly, when I play, other than family and a few friends, nobody really cares what I do. And that's completely different to Ryder Cup. I mean, you've got your team members, you've got everybody from your home country rooting for you. And I found it, found it pretty exciting. I, some guys don't like it, I do. It's certainly the highlight of my career. Other than possibly my first win, um, Ryder Cup's career highlight. There's, there's, you know, there, it's a unique event. There's nothing else like it. Um, to have that many people interested in what I'm doing, is, it's different.